What's up guys, Max and Max Rooks here, and today we are unfortunately saying goodbye to an old friend. This right here is my $300 250 amp MIG welding machine. Uh, I bought this in June of 2016, I made a video about it. Um, to date, I think it's the video I have the most interaction about. People still come to that video and ask me for updates. Um, and up until this last week, this guy worked like a champ. Um, I went through, I don't know, probably 20, 25 rolls of wire through. We've done a lot of welding projects, a lot of hours on this machine. And interestingly enough, the thing that failed um, was this. This is the control board for the feed motor. And the transformer part of this still works just fine, um, but there is no more uh, feed, unfortunately. It just constantly spins. So if I turn this on in the back here, basically this motor right here, right down here, is what controls um, your feed. And it is entirely unresponsive to any speed control. The front LCD is dead. And it basically just spins. And there's not enough current to really uh, overcome. So either the control panel or the motor has failed uh, in a pretty devastating way. So the, right now you can't use this thing to weld. Um, so considering I got five years out of it, I'm pretty happy with it for 300 bucks. In fact, nowadays you can go on eBay and find one of these for the $350, $400 mark. But five years ago, there was nothing under 600 bucks that was commonly available here in the States that would do a 250 amp 60% um, duty cycle or anything close to that. So I ordered a new one of these from eBay for about 340 bucks that will also do 250 amps um, and has a few new features compared to this whole box. But I'm excited uh, to you know, get my new welder and uh, you know, pay my respects to this thing because we've built a lot of cool stuff with this welder. And uh, I've had a lot of interaction on YouTube thanks to this welder. And um, that's pretty much it. This is the final update on this welder. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.